guys, welcome back. We are swapping clover seed. Uh, the field is a little bit rough here because last year we're on bottom ground and last year when we had the weeds here, uh, I had to mud it out with the combine and I left quite a few ruts. Uh, if you look in the field there, you see those green strips. Those are actually mud ruts from last year uh, where the clover died. Anyway, we're swathing the clover seed. We've got our ground speed relatively fast and we're holding our RPMs way down. We're trying to keep as much seed in the head as possible without threshing it out. Uh, I have started early in the morning, right when the dew was starting to come off. I want this clover to be as wet as possible. Uh, the clover is still plenty green yet, and when we get out and stop the tractor here and talk a little bit outside, we will talk about why the clover is still green. Okay guys, we are in the field. Uh, this particular bottom field, it was extremely dry. We made the hay June 8th, and then, uh, like I said in the other videos, we went three weeks without rain. Then that first week of July, uh, we had about six and a half inches in the space of a week there, that first week of July. The net effect on the clover was the clover has gotten leggy on us. Here is one of those first plants that came up during that dry time. And if we look at his heads, he's already dropped one head and this is his second head. And it was so dry, he made seed, but not a whole lot. This is how you look for clover seed. You take the head and you rub it in your hand and then you can count the seeds. That's a good amount of seeds. I know it doesn't look like much, but I bet there's 40 or 50 seeds there. So then we had that rain and another flush of clover came. And that is represented by this plant here. This plant here is what I call a uh, leggy plant. He was probably about two and a half foot tall. Uh, there were plants out here that were about three foot tall. So this was the second bloom and it came after that rain. And he is the seed crop that we are going after. And so how to know when to mow that plant? When we're looking at the plant here, when this top part of the stem right next to the head turns yellow, then the seed in the head is mature and it is ready to swath. So I have a pretty good head there and I will rub him. And he has pretty yellow. Now red clover seed ranges from purple to bright yellow. That first head I rubbed was purple. This head has yellow seed in it. And look at the amount of yellow seed. There's probably 60 berries there and I didn't rub near all of them out. So that is the bloom of clover we're going in. And since the rain has kept coming, we have everything from this one, one of the early heads that's fallen off, to one of these that was blooming last week. And so the question is, how do you decide when to mow your clover seed? How do you decide when to swath it and combine it? And that is a hard decision. Uh, what has me out here today is that we have rain predicted for tonight. We have a severe storm predicted for tonight. In the bottom ground, it is possible to lose your crop. If we would get a real hard packing rain now, uh, these dry heads would get knocked down. They'll break off and they'll fall down and you'll lose them and uh, some of the green clover would get mashed flat to where the swather wouldn't pick it up. Uh, so it's kind of a happy, you're trying to find a happy medium between that first bloom and the plants that are already dead and your big green second bloom plants and that their head being mature and ready to go. Uh, anyway, that's why we're out here and that's why we're swathing. Thanks guys, talk to you later.